I'd first like to thank Stephen and the organizing committee for inviting me out here to share something that's pretty close to my heart with you this next half an hour. In addition, I want to thank you for coming. I hear it was a great party last night, and maybe some people are suffering some uh, latent effects of the party. But many of you have traveled far distances away from your family and practices at an expense, and to share the, la the last few days with us uh, means a lot to us as ITI and speakers. So, as Marisha has said, I come from Gainesville, Florida. And in Gainesville, Florida, we have a treatment team that is comprised of many individuals. They could be partners of mine, faculty members, scholars, assistants, implant representatives. All these people play a big role in what we do on a daily basis. And quite often, if you run a practice that has many patients that come to seek your expertise for implants, you'll find that there's a segment in there built up of patients that have ecstatic demands. And if you want to get predictable, consistent results, you have to understand what factors these patients bring with them that can result in aesthetic risk in the outcomes. So my topic this morning is to really set the stage for today in highlighting the factors that are associated with aesthetic risk that we see in the patients that we treat in Gainesville and I'm sure that you treat around the world. I think the best way to start this is really to give you a sampling of the different types of scenarios you may have in your practice. And I think every one of you can look at the screen and find that patient that's waiting for you in your practice on Monday. And they're hoping you're gonna come back and solve their problem, fulfill their desire to have a tooth again. 